Hello, I'm Bushra Tasnia and I'm going to explain how the NAND and SR Dutch combination of our water level controller system works. Here we can see the total output from NAND operation connected as R input in SR latch and another input as A of NAND operation connected as S input in the latch. The output cuber gives us the expected result. This is the truth table of the total system. Uh, first you can see the y, uh, y, input, uh, y output gives the input from A and B. Uh, when there is 0, 0, the in output is 1. And, uh, <coughs> then the combination of SR latch gives us A, uh, then it is 1, 0 and so Q bar is 0 which means sensor A and B is on so the machine is off. When AB is 1, 0, the output is 1, 1 and Q bar gives us no change that means sensor A is on and B is off so the machine is off there is no change from the previous state. When the input is 1, 1 and Y gives us 0 and A gives us 1, Q bar gives us 1 which means sensor A and B is on and the machine is also on. When A and B is 1, 0, Y gives us 1, A is also 1 and Q bar is no change because of the latch and sensor A is on and B is off so the machine is on. And then finally there is 0, 0 from A and B so Y is 1 and A was 0 so that means Q bar is 0 which is both sensor is off and the machine is off. The final output, um, the final output is shown here in one true table. The NAND operation Y and the input sensor A is used as the input of SR latch, where A is a set function and Y is a reset function. When Y and A is one one, Q bar is zero. When Y and A is zero one, Q bar uh, gives no change. When Y and A is zero zero, Q bar is one. When Y and A is zero one, Q bar is one. And when Y and A is zero zero, Q bar gives us zero. Thank you.